I should have asked you before we turn to this, but I think I will just sum this up real quick. Uh, small businesses and agriculture was the town for many, many years. And then we changed to a bedroom community where we drove out of town to do practically everything. School co uh, consolidation made a difference in what happened in our, our town. Surrounding town uh, counties had bigger uh, wages and opportunities. We could shop out of town. We didn't have to uh, sit on the little stool at uh, Parker's and put on the Red Goose shoes, but uh, uh, I think I would like to do that again. It would have been nice. Okay. And the improved roads and transportation allows us to move about. There was a new addition in the West. Uh, it was developed in the uh, 60s and 70s called Ashland Drive. So that kept a part of our history with the name. South addition. Uh, I took some of these pictures at Christmas time because I was amazed at what was living just south of me. I've always laughed about this sign right here. City of La Fountain. <laughs> Denny, are you here? He left, okay. But I just wonder, because I thought cities were 50,000 people or more. Um, but that's okay. Were you on the board when that happened, Sam? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and, and he's turning red up here, so it's okay. <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right, why should we study history in the first place, and why should we uh, do, uh, what does it teach us? We should learn to know what had happened, and we can understand what happened and see what happened, and how can we benefit from it? We can learn from others. We can help or hinder. We can resolve a place where we're planted because we had the good go for it. Today's happening is tomorrow's history, so live it and cherish it. Relax. These will soon be history, too. <laughs> So brainstorm what's going to happen to Live Mountain in the next 10 years and go from there. And I think we're done. Okay, thank you much.